basic use of gesture detector and inkwell widgets. Let's clear all the widgets from the body and also remove the act bar, so we can see the codes for this video widgets more clearly. In the recent video of buttons, I introduces widgets that has touch properties. Now, what if we want any widgets to have tapping or pressing property? Guess what? Flutter gave us exactly what we need, that is gesture detector and ink well, though we will see more of them in the future. These two are the most commonly used. To demonstrate gesture detector and inkwell widgets, let's create two container widgets within a column. And take some time to decorate our container, and copy same widget as the second container. Along with these two widgets, I would like to introduce center widget. I would not be making separate video for this widget as its only purpose is to center as child widget. Within the center of the ex parent widget, see it yourself in the simulator to understand how it works. Now, let's wrap the containers with each one of these widgets one with gesture detector and other with ink well. You all might be thinking, why are these two different widgets, though they both function the same way? Well, there's a slight difference, that is ink well, has splash color around the child widget on tapping. Keep on watching you will see it, what I am talking about. And also gesture detector has way more tapping properties than ink well, though most of them are not really commonly used. Let's convert our stateless widget to staple widget to test out the tapping features of these two widgets. Though there are many gesture properties, I will be showing only two. That is double tap property and on tap property as almost all of them are pretty similar and are not really necessary. I would still recommend you to try out the rest. Let's create a list of color for the inkwell widget. We will be changing the color of the container randomly. From the list of color we created within inkwell by using the double tap property, which takes an anonymous function. Now create an integer variable to randomly pick an index from the color list and create a void function for it. That will allow us to change the color of the container randomly on double tapping. Now let's call the function within the double tap property of inkwell and list of colors and container color property, providing the index value. And on the on tap property of gesture detector, let's create a new screen or page that will allow us to navigate to the new screen on calling the function.
As you can see, the color of the container within Inkwell changes its color on double tapping the container. Now let's write the syntax that will navigate us to the new screen on tapping the container within Gesture Detector. As you can see on taping a container within Gesture Detector, it navigates us to the new screen. Now let's change color of splash effect in the Inkwell widget using splash color property, so you can clearly see it in the simulator and understand what I was talking about earlier. That's all for today's widgets. Thank you for watching. Please support my channel by clicking on subscribe and like button. Good day guys.